Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here, and today we are checking out RPM on Nintendo Switch, or Road Punk Mayhem. This just came out, and it's also on sale for 20% off, so it's sitting around 6 bucks Canadian, give or take. And it's pretty cool. I've been waiting to check this out for the last few days, uh, because the art style alone really captivated me when I first saw it. There was something kind of comic bookish about it, and I thought that was a really neat to see. So we're just going to briefly cover the basics here. So you'll notice that teleport ability that I just did. So the way it works is you do have access to bombs, but they kind of emphasize the teleport ability more so than bomb use in this game. So what you can do, like when you have a wall like that, you can uh, activate your teleport thing and then you can move anywhere within that circle that's around your, your vehicle and teleport there. If you hit the perimeter, from what I can tell, that just automatically counts as a like a selection for where you want to teleport to. Or you can press the button again when you're in a specific spot within the circle. So that's kind of how that works. If you do want to bomb, you can hold down the same button, like your, your teleport ability button. You can hold that down. It takes a while to uh, build up, but then it goes off. And then as far as I can tell, you have unlimited bomb usage. So it's just a matter of like doing the whole cooldown thing and then you can use it again after a short period. You collect those gas tanks you'll see floating here and there as like your, your life stock or whatever. And then other than that, I think it's just like your focus shot. You just hold down the fire button and then you can tap it repeatedly to just do rapid fire. There is a second f attack button and I don't recall, I didn't really use that much to be honest, but I think that might just be auto fire so that you don't have to be tapping it. In terms of scoring, it's pretty straightforward. They don't, like, the, the guide in the game doesn't really tell you too much, but you have your gold skulls, which are these score items. You build a multiplier by just killing enemies. When you get into a boss fight, the multiplier is locked, uh, so you don't have to worry about, um, like, dropping your multiplier or any of that kind of stuff, because it should just uh, stay there if I understood and, and read that correctly. And then there are some other things, like I'm not sure what that treasure chest was, maybe it's just a like a huge jackpot of score, but yeah, so there isn't really too much to cover here. I'm really enjoying it so far. It, it, it will, or at least for me, it did initially strike me as being very busy looking, so that's one thing that might take a little getting used to, but before long I kind of understood like what I'm supposed to be doing and how to work with the mechanics and all this stuff, and it doesn't strike me any sort of way at this point i'm just used to it now so so yeah you'll have a bunch of those things where you gotta like go through an obstacle i like those enemies with the uh the laser rings those are pretty sweet um and yeah we're just jumping around for clips here just seeing different things but anyway let me know what you think thanks for checking this out i really appreciate everybody stopping by and have a stellar day we'll see you next time